Okay, got another project here I thought I'd show. Uh, picked up a couple antique banjos at an auction last week. One of them's this uh, 1920s or 30s concertone four string. And then I've also got a 1880s Dobson. Um, this one here doesn't need a whole lot of work. Um, other than just sitting for probably 30 or 40 years. Uh, it was really, really filthy. And uh, strings are bad, missing the bridge. Uh, but that's about it. <coughs> um, so I'm going to just uh, show you how I clean this. This would probably work on other uh, instruments. Uh, if you've got something real rare or vintage, you might want to consult a professional luthier. But... Uh, you know, this isn't a real highly collectible piece, but again, uh, not really uh, doing anything that's going to damage it here, I don't think. Uh, just cleaning it and preserving it. The wood, I wish I'd have got a picture before I started, but the top section of this rim was so dried out it actually just turned a white. Um, almost looked like a veneer that was peeling off. Um, but I've been treating it um, with a solution and uh, it's looking really, really nice. Uh, but again, it's, uh, you know, still the original finish. I'm not refinishing it. Um, I'm just kind of conditioning the wood and bringing back the luster. Um, you can see here um, what the rim looked like when I started with. And honestly, I didn't think it was going to clean up as good as it is. Um, you can see here in the center of the screen, um, it looked to me like the finish was uh, going on it. Um, but uh, what I'm doing on the rim is just taking a little uh, fine grade steel wool, um, actually should be probably a little finer than when I got here, but uh, dampening it lightly. You don't want too much water because you don't want getting on the head, you got to be careful. Um, but here, after uh, just go over it real lightly, um, you can see how much nicer that looks. Um, so you don't want to rub too hard, you don't want to go through the nickel plating. Um, but uh, just lightly to take that surface grime off. So I'm also hitting the head leather there where it comes around just a little bit. Uh, it's cleaning that up. And to do the wood, I'm just working my way around, <clears throat> taking one or two of these off at a time, these hooks and uh, the nut and everything. And uh, what I'm using to treat the wood, and you can see how filthy it was on the inside too. Um, again, I've... I've uh, Got most of the way around on this, but here's what it's looking like after I uh, treat it. And again, this top wood was just really, really bad, and now it's got a little sheen to it even. Uh, but I'm making a solution, and you can get some commercial products that are basically the same thing. They may have a couple of other things added, but I've got a mixture of... Uh, three-fourths oil to one part vinegar in this. I'm just using olive oil and uh, apple cider vinegar. You gotta shake it up, it separates. Um, and then I also added a couple of tablespoons of uh, lemon juice. So uh, probably wanna kinda keep that off the nickel plating. But uh, anyway, it cleans and treats really nice. And I've gone over this so, you know, two or three times. Um, this side was just where it was really, really bad. And uh, I think it's coming out pretty nice, getting a little sheen to it, and uh, also cleaning the uh, all the parts with that steel wool too. So uh, it's coming out pretty nice. I'll show you when I'm done. But yeah, this the neck and everything, um, the inlay was so grimy you couldn't even see it. Frets were just really caked, and uh, cleaned the fretboard up really nice. And uh, gonna be a nice piece when I'm done. So anyway, I will uh, show you when it's done and uh, get it strung up and everything what it sounds like, because uh, I don't know, hasn't been played in, like I said, probably, oh, I'm guessing 30 or 40 years, so uh, anyway, that 1880s Dobson, I'll also get that uh, video up, uh, it needs considerably more, needs a new nut, and uh, missing a lot of hooks, and new, it's going to have to have a new head, and but I'll show you that in another video, so um, show you here when I'm done.